What's up YouTube, Jerome Gorlick here uh, with a tutorial for Computer Crafts on Ticket. Today as promised I'm going to show you my program. Um, so if we type in programs, it's still pretty simple but it's called Make Tunnel. So I'm going to type it in. Make, uh, whoops. <clears throat> Make tunnel. Um, you got to tell it how far you want to make the tunnel. That's what was airing last time. You need an argument. So I'm going to say 10. Now, as you can see, in the um, inventory here, I got orange wool now the two orange walls at the top are the left and right of the walkway and something's not working properly hmm the middle one is meant to be a checker lantern calling to I don't know I'll change no, it's, um, I'm very confused. All right, so for some reason it's not putting the jack o' lantern on top. But that's okay. And as you can see, uh, whoops, it's made a very nice tunnel um, with kind of no glass pan at the end because that doesn't work properly. That's yeah, what I made the code do. And yeah, the middle one's just what you want at the ends instead of glass pane. The bottom two outer ones are the bottom part of the wall, and the center one is the bottom walkway. You can see, yeah. Alright, um, today I'm going to show you basic functions. Um, not a very good use of them, but... If you've done other programming language, you've probably used functions in there and um, you'll be able to transfer that over here. So I'm going to open up this. And yeah, so I have my code here. Um, so function try detect up. That's declaring, this is here is declaring the first function. And this here is the second function. Now the first function just sees if the turtle can detect up. If it can, it returns a string value block above. Otherwise it returns no block above. Um, so variable one here equals the function. And then print variable one. Um, and I just have that there for no reason. Same with that one. Now this other one sees if one number is bigger than the other. And you can see here with B you can have a string. And two number is a function that's built in. So you can put a function inside a function. Um, that's pretty common. Like when declaring a function. Yeah. So it just says if num1 is bigger than num2, return the string bigger, else return the string smaller. And as you can see, these numbers are put into the function from here um, to there. You can't just define a variable in this space and have it come in here because variables inside the function don't interact with variables outside the function. 
That's what this statement here is for. And then you just print variable one. Um, so I'm going to show you what this code does. Um, back in ticket. Um, So we're back here in Ticket. I'll just do it on this one. Type in function, that's what I called it. Uh, so here, function equals expected. What line was that? Line nine. Um, I will put this inside brackets. That's probably what I did wrong. Um, switch back to tech it. And let's run this. See, so it says no block above, and it says that 7 is bigger than 6, which I believe is true. And I'll just show you, we'll put a block above, we'll rerun that, and it says block above. So, that's basic functions. Yeah, like you can put variables into the function and get an outcome. Um, this can be done with like, say you made an equation for some reason to convert degrees into Fahrenheit. I'm just going to make it down again. Um, you could make that a function. Um, and that would run like, yeah. But that's it for this episode. Um, yeah, please leave a comment of what you want in the next episode. I've run out of ideas. It took me a while to come up with this one. Um, if you want me to talk about something, you got to tell me what you want. Otherwise, I don't know. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope um, you enjoyed it and learnt something from it. Um, talk to you, see you next episode.